Hello everyone and welcome to Mark Williams Media YouTube channel. Remember as usual click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of our new um, videos. You might wonder what is this noise behind me? Where are we? Well we are in Kyoto and these videos are coming to you from Kyoto. So let's have a look behind me and you can see the kanji for Kyoto and if I move the camera slightly this way you can see Kyoto Station. That's the kanji for Kyoto Station. So what's Kyoto like? Kyoto is a very traditional part of Japan and it prides itself in, um, in its traditions. It was actually the birthplace of Japan. Um, Nara was the first kind of capital but Kyoto was a close second and uh, Kyoto's capital is well known for its um, kimono, for its tea ceremony and as I said for its traditions. It is also well known for its temples and shrines. There are actually nearly 2,000 temples and shrines here in Kyoto. Kyoto's population is relatively small. It only has a population of about 1.8 million. However, it has about 50 million tourists every year. So it really is Japan's number one destination. Okay, here we are at the King Kokuji, the Golden Temple. One of the most famous temples here in Kyoto. I'm going to take you on a little tour of this temple. But first let me tell you a little bit about its history. So, the temple was created by the third shogunate of the Marumachi, Marumochi rather, um, period. So the Marumachi period was a semi-warring state period. And so the third shogunate retired from war. And um, usually when the shogunate or the emperor retires, he becomes a monk or he goes into some kind of monastery area away from the uh, politics that he was used to before. This shogunate was a little bit different. He actually created a temple that resembled the royal court, that resembled the Heian period, that resembled power and wealth, which he felt he still had even though he was a monk. So it was built by him uh, in remembrance and then his son also um, uh, added to the temple. The temple is a Zen temple and usually Zen temples are very still places and not so lavish places but this temple is an exception to that rule. Let's check it all out. When you enter um, the great temple of um, King Kakuji you are greeted just before the entrance by a beautiful moss forest and I think this sets the setting, the scene if you like, for the temple because while the temple itself is golden its surroundings are green the Zen feeling of nature in Kyoto What a sight. You can see the magnificence of this temple. And considering it's a Zen temple, as I said, golden, austere, ostentatious, um, even decadent, but yet serene, surrounded by the mori, the forest trees, and the yama, the mountain in the background. Here it is, 
from behind the trees. The serenity is kind of destroyed with the uh, workmen, but still I hope you get a feeling, a sense of the Zen of this place, despite the golden nature of the temple itself. Let me um, explain the structure that you see before you, this wonderful golden temple. Now it's three pillared. The first pillar is not golden, it's white and open, and the second two are golden. So the first one was there to entertain guests, um, courtly residents if you like, of this monk who was the third uh, shogunate from the Maromachi period around the 1400s. The second um, level is dedicated to the worship of Buddha. So this is the Buddha um, worship hall area and this is gold. And the third is for the worship of the Zen Buddha or the Kami God if you are a uh, Shinto um, believer. And that's right at the top and that's the most sacred of all levels. So the last level, the third level, is for the Zen Buddha and the Kami. The second level is for the Buddha worship, the worship of uh, Buddhism. And the first level is for humans, um, the entertainment of the royal court. And even as a monk, the third shogunate, the former third shogunate, did re entertain like a royal court. And this third, sorry, this first um, segment, this first level, as I said before, is not sealed, it's wooden, it's very plain, it still looks magnificent, but it is nothing compared to the second and third levels, because that is the domain of the gods and the worship of the Lord Buddha. <laughs> 